Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. In this video, I will talk about what are the main chemicals that we are using in the farm and how we store the chemical. Okay, here I have few chemicals. The first chemical is sodium bicarbonate or you can call that as baking soda. This chemical we use as a buffering chemical to control or to increase back the alkalinity or the pH in our water. This chemical is in the powder form. So here is how the chemical look like. Second chemical is the salt. Salt is we use to increase the salinity inside the water. Let's see the how the salt look like. Okay, the color and the shape is almost similar with the sodium bicarbonate but it's more transparent. The third chemical that we are using is calcium chloride. We monitor the calcium level in our system every day. But sometimes we can observe that the calcium level in the water drop because the calcium organism use it. So how we can increase back the calcium content is by adding the calcium chloride. Okay. Here is the shape of the calcium chloride. You can see it's more hard. It's more hard compared to the salt and the sodium bicarbonate. Next is magnesium chloride. This magnesium chloride is similar with the calcium. We monitor every day but sometimes this um, magnesium level it will drop. Okay, let's see the shape. The color is more more yellow compared to the other chemical and it's more moist. Last chemical that we are using is sodium thiosulfate. This chemical we use to remove the chlorine from the tap water. Okay, the shape is more bigger particle compared to the others compared to the others and the color is more light okay now let's see how we store this chemical this is our smile box the bioflop system for the shrimp and here we disassemble one of the block to disinfect our new holding tank okay. so this is the place where we use to store our chemical we use a container that have a lid so that we can make sure we reduce the moisture that going in into the container so here is the sodium bicarbonate Here is the magnesium chloride and as you can see this chemical already clumped together so it means that this chemical has not been stored properly so the moisture goes in and it's clumped the chemical. Here we have the calcium chloride so we can see it's stored perfectly so it's not clumped together. So here, we store the salt and also the sodium thiosulfate and we have to make sure that these two chemicals is stored in a guni sex. Now, we have already reached the end of this video. In this video, we already learned what are the important chemicals that are using and how we store the chemical so that it will work efficiently. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to like and subscribe.